Hi there, thanks for tuning in to my video. Today we're going to look at how to play the perfect screwback shot or how to improve uh, screwback shots you're playing at the moment. Um, in some parts of the world this is referred to as a, as a draw shot but here in the UK we call it a, a screwback shot. Um, as per quite a lot of my videos I, I like to look at things that span across a lot of cue sports, so the techniques that I'm about to show you um, will apply to all variations of pool and uh, snooker. Something I get asked a lot in, in my um, channel is, is about uh, in UK pool, the white ball is uh, one and seven eighths big compared to a two inch object ball, so it's slightly smaller. A lot of people ask if that has an effect on, on things. Um, so I'm going to give a quick demonstration. In terms of how to play a screwback shot, it doesn't have any impact on it whatsoever. You, you play it the exact same way as you would in, in your US pool, um, Chinese eight ball or snooker. Uh, I've also got a two inch uh, white ball, which I'll play the same shot with that. So that's the same size as this. So Playing with this ball would be the same as if you're playing, you know, nine ball or or Chinese eight ball or, or or snooker. The the practice of actually playing the shot is the exact same, no matter what ball you're using. It's just re the reaction is slightly different. So because the um, the UK white ball is smaller, once I screw this back, it should come back quite easily. The screw back should quite well. So you see I've got quite a lot of screw back there. If I play the exact same shot with a bigger ball, so this would be the same as other variations of pool or snooker, I'll hit it the exact same way and what you'll see is the ball will screw back but just not as far. So you see there it, it came back probably about uh, half the distance. Uh, and the opposite effect happens when you when you play a, a follow through shot. So if I follow through with this ball, it's going to follow through quite easily. If I follow through with a smaller ball, it's not going to go as, as far. Uh, so just looking at how we play that shot properly, or how you get more screw back, I think there's three areas that um, that that has an impact on how far the ball will come back uh, and most beginners will certainly know or understand the first two so that would be how low down in the white ball do you hit it obviously the the lower down you go the more screw back you're going to get uh, the second part would be how hard do you hit it so obviously hitting it harder will um will bring the cue ball back further but the third part, and I think this is this has the biggest impact, is um, is the technique and the timing of the shot. Uh, you need to get that right in order to bring the white ball back. Uh, so I'll just give another quick demonstration here. I'll hit this this screw back shot with a lot of bottom in it. I'll hit it hard, but my technique won't be great. And then I'll hit the same shot again with good technique, and we'll just have a look at what difference that makes to the cue ball. So we got it back fairly far, hitting it with bad technique, not too bad. So I didn't hit that anywhere near as hard, but I got a lot more screw back. So let's just have a look at all of those things in action. So first of all, is how far down do you hit the, um, the cue ball? So we'll zoom in here, we'll play the exact same shot again. If you hit the white ball in the middle, right there, that's a stun shot. Let's play a stun shot to begin with, right in the middle. You see that? The white stops dead. Now, when playing a screw shot, I think there's probably only two parts, two positions of the white ball that I would play. I'm not necessarily saying that everyone has to play the same. 
But I would say either play quite far down in the white, and I'll show you this in the graphic, you know, how far down I'm going. Quite far down in the white, and that would that would be a proper screw shot. I think the other shot that you can play is almost a mixture of a uh, stun and screw, and you would hit slightly further up for that. But I'll show the first one. So how far down did I hit this white ball? Um, you don't want to hit it too far down because you will jump the white. It's not as far down as you think. So if that's a stun shot, this will be a mixture of stun and screw. This for me is a screw shot. So I'm probably hitting maybe about almost three quarters of the way down the ball. So that's your normal kind of screw shot, how far down you would hit it. Uh, I would play a mixture of stun and screw if I had a shot. Um, I'm going to give myself a bit more angle on this. Uh, so I've moved the white just slightly. If I play this as a screw shot, you see that I'm bringing the white back down this line, just missing this point here. You may get a shot where being on this line is no good. You want to bring the white back. Say you're playing for a ball over here. You want to bring the white back slightly, but you want to move it over this side of the table. So to do this, you hit this just below um, centre ball. So it's a mixture of stun and screw, and you need, we need to hit it a bit harder. So let me just show you that. So you see I've moved the white a lot more over in that direction. It's still come back slightly because the object ball was here. So we still brought it back slightly. I could play that a bit better, I think. Let me just have another go at it. This could be a better demonstration. So down a bit just below the center, quite hard. Yeah, that's better. So that's a mixture of stun and screw. So that's the first point covered. How far down do we hit it? The second part is how hard do you hit it? Now I think this is a fairly obvious one. Um, you know if I hit this where I normally would for a uh, screw back, so about three quarters of the ball down, a bit soft, I'm bringing the cue ball back slightly. Play the same shot again and hit it harder. I'm bringing the cue ball much further back. Um, in UK eight ball pool, I would say you never need to hit it uh, a screw shot that hard because the white ball is smaller. It screws back a lot easier. It's a fairly small table, you know, this bed is six foot by three foot. So you never really need to hit it that hard. Um, obviously, you can hit it harder than that there and you will get more screw back. But the last point is technique and timing. And this is where I think most people go wrong. You know, to play a screw shot, they end up just trying to hit it lower hit it harder if they want more screw back. But for me, as we showed in the first kind of example, it's the technique that's most important. So let's have a, a little look at that now. And I'll move the, the camera around so you can see that properly. I think there's four uh, kind of key parts to this. Uh, the, the first one I would say is, is what angle your cue is at. A lot of people, I'll move this forward a bit, uh, especially beginners, you know, they're going to play a screw shot. This is our normal kind of bridge. We want to get down in the ball, so they point the cue down. And this means that I'm raising my right arm up, and the cue is pointing down the way. Now, if I hit too low down, I'm going to jump that white. So when you play a screw shot, instead of having your normal bridge, you want to flatten your hand as much as possible to get lower on the ball because you want your cue as level as possible so uh, parallel with the floor 
and that will stop any kind of accidental jump shots uh, but it will also let you time it much better now you're not going to get it exactly flat because if you're queuing over the, the cushion you, know, you, you can't you can't get the, the necessary bottom spin and keep it flat but just try and keep it as flat as possible and that will let you let you chew properly uh, the second part is about um following your cue through properly so in every shot after your cue touches the white it should follow through now a lot of beginners uh, get a bit worried when they're playing a screw shot about following through because the white's coming back they think that it might hit their their tip um a bit like this you know, there's a risk that that will happen so they end up they kind of poke at the shot and this was what i did when i was trying to show the example of bad technique is i kind of jabbed at it uh, and you saw i still got a bit of screw back there but i hit it quite hard um not very i didn't hit it very nice at all and i had to get my cue away quick don't worry about it hitting your cue you can still deliver the cue through follow through properly and get it out of the way in time because you're ex when the when the cue hits the white you should be lined up that that's the maximum acceleration of the cue there so you're kind of almost decelerating once you get past it you will have enough time to draw the cue back out of the way like this even when i'm close to the object ball i can still get my cue out of the way in enough time so Number two, make sure you follow through properly. The third part uh, is about this hand, this hand here. Um, I see a lot of beginners when they're playing a screw shot, they think they need to hit it hard and they start gripping this tight you know, and everything speeds up. This is tight. What to do if you think that you do that? Just try your next screw shot. Just play a really gentle one. But just put all your focus on keeping this hand loose. So you only really grip the cue with your thumb and your first finger. These three fingers are loose. And when you're going back, uh, back and forward, and in in, uh, when you're feathering, they should be opening up if you're doing everything properly. So just try that. Just make sure that they're all loose. And I bet you you'll get more screw back on the cue with less power. If before you're like that, that's it with a tight grip. Just try and loosen it up. And you get much more screw back. Now, the fourth part, and... I actually don't know why this happens, but it always works for me. Is if I'm playing a, a screw back shot and it's an important shot, I need to get it quite precise or I need to screw it back quite far, I focus on my pause before delivery. So normally in a game I'm quite fluent, I'm not thinking about my cue action, you know, I'll just move fairly quickly around the table and and everything's quite um, smooth and, and methodical. On this shot, I will put more emphasis on a pause. So I'll play it, you know, my normal kind of feathers, I'll get back to here and I'll give it a big pause. And for some reason, for me, uh, it might not work for everyone, for some reason, that just makes my timing a lot better and I seem to get through the ball a lot better. So I'll hit fairly low, three quarters away down the cue ball, medium pace, nice pause, and it really helps with my timing for some reason. One more time. Perfect. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing as I'll be bringing